Hello there, and thanks for joining me. I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video I'll be demonstrating the Express Paint feature of the new interactive gradient tool in Corel Painter 2017. So I have this nice painting of a tree that I created here, and if I wanted to add a background to it quickly and easily, what I can do is I can go to my background layer, which is separate from my tree trunk, as you can see here, and I'll select the new interactive gradient tool. I'm gonna click up here on presets, we have all these wonderful presets here, a lot of which contain skies. I'm going to choose a morning glow tint that looks nice to me. And I'm simply going to drag with the new interactive gradient tool straight down or straight up, depending on the direction of the gradient that you want. I think in this case, I want it to be going the opposite direction. So what I can do is go up here into the properties bar and just click on the reverse button to reverse the order of the gradient. Now I can move these nodes around if I want to. If I want to adjust this gradient, I think that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and take a look at Express Paint up here in the properties bar. Express Paint will blend this gradient so it looks more like brush strokes or a more painterly effect. And we have all these different presets we can choose from here. Let's try heavy dabs. And if I click on my check to commit the gradient, it's gonna go ahead and apply the gradient and apply the Express Paint effect. And you can see I get this really nice cloud effect here. Let's choose another Express Paint preset. Let's try jittery strokes. We can also preview the effect by clicking on preview effect here, and we can play with the size. If we want to change the size of the dabs, we can increase or decrease the amount of dabs. You can see the background is kind of blending on its own back there. Now I think that looks interesting, but it's not quite bright enough for what I want. I'm going to go ahead and create my own gradient. Then I'll go ahead and turn my express paint back on. And I think I like the way that heavy dabs looked, so I'm going to go with that. Now you can click at any time to stop the express paint effect. I think that looks good. And now I have a pretty nice looking background for my tree and it was really quick and easy to make thanks to the express paint feature in Corel Painter 2017.